Welcome back everybody to another Sabaton reaction video. Well, as promised, the next one that we're going to take a look at is one that you guys have been asking for, uh, and that's the Winged Hussars. Uh, I know there's a lot of different ways to pronounce that, that's just how I pronounce it. Um, but anyway, uh, this very much like uh, some of the other songs that they've sung about, uh, this is another historic event that you can definitely see how it inspired some of Lord of the Rings. Uh, much like what happened with Verdun and um, and all of that, uh, with the whole "you shall not pass," uh, you can see the uh, the charge of the Rohirrim uh, in uh, the Battle of Pelennor Fields, uh, which happens in the Return of the King, all over this, as well as some elements of uh, the fight at uh, Helm's Deep. So I'm just going to dive into this. We'll talk a little bit about it. I'm. Uh, haven't really uh, looked at the lyrics to the song or anything, but we're watching a video that actually uses the movie about the 1683 Siege of Vienna, which is what the song is based on. Uh, so we're going to watch this, and it'll have the uh, subtitles. Don't forget, hit that like button. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to make a big push to get to 10,000 subscribers in the next couple of weeks, and so you can be a part of that. Uh, when we hit 10,000 subscribers, we're going to be doing some big giveaways. Right now, we have a small giveaway. We're going to be giving away uh, a copy of whatever biography you you want uh, either on Amazon or the audio version through Audible. Use the link in the description below to enter that, and we'll be drawing that in just a few days. But when we get to 10,000 subs, going to be doing some bigger giveaways. So help us get there. Let's dive in. So the Holy League is uh, this is this kind of uh, confederation of Christian nations that are bordering. Uh, this is like the height of the Ottoman Empire at this point. The Ottoman Empire controls not only a good bit of what was once the Roman Empire, uh, but all the way up to uh, right at the borders of Italy and what would today be Austria. It's really not that far from the Ottoman Empire to get to Vienna at this point. They control pretty much all of what would later become Yugoslavia, Greece, Bulgaria, Romania, Hungary. It's all under the Ottoman rule at this point. Uh, and they've sent this, I think, like 100, 150,000 man army to lay siege to Vienna. And there's uh, very, very few men that are defending the city. But Vienna's got strong walls and... Um, of course, the relief comes in the form of King John III of uh, Poland, which was a major power at this point in history, Poland and Lithuania. Sent a message to the sky, wounded soldiers left to die. Will they hold the wall or will the cities be fall? Dedication, dedication, that of number 15 to 1. And the battle's begun that the wing does So you can absolutely see, if you're familiar at all with Lord of the Rings, uh, you've two times you've got these uh, these major cavalry charges. And this particular cavalry charge, I think, included 18,000 men, which made it the largest cavalry charge ever in human history that we know of. Uh, the Winged Hussars uh, were something like two to 3,000 of it, and they kind of led the charge. Uh, believe it or not, and my understanding is that included in that 18,000 were actually some Muslim soldiers who were fighting on the side of the Christians in this battle. I'm not entirely sure the story there. I'm sure there is one, and maybe somebody knows it. And if you do, use the comment section let us know. Um, but uh, King Jan, or John is, um, John the Third is the one who leads this charge. Uh, and so, yeah, imagine Lord of the Rings, Return of the King, that charge, there was only 6,000 of them in Lord of the Rings. This is three times that many horse soldiers. You can imagine how that puts the fear into an army, even an army the size of the ones that the Ottomans had at this battle. As the days 
You see, that's the part that makes me think of Helm's Deep, is that they did these explosives below the walls trying to blow them up. The, you know, Helm's Deep, that happens with the guy that jumps in and tries to blow up the wall. Desperation, desperation, it's a desperate race against the mind. And the race against time and the wing to Sazerain. Coming down the mountainside. So that might be one of my favorite songs of theirs. I really like that song, and it's a cool story, and it goes back a little further in history than World War One, World War Two, which is a lot of the ones that we've been covering so far. But uh, one other thing I remember about this that I uh, remember reading and thinking was really cool, because on my gaming channel, History Guy Gaming, I have the tagline uh, that was a quote from Julius Caesar where he said, Veni, Vidi, Vici, which is, we came, we, or, I came, I saw, I conquered. Uh, I don't remember who the quote is attributed to, but uh, after they freed Vienna from this siege, somebody said, uh, we came, we saw God conquered. And so it was kind of a play on that. Uh, same quote uh, but I thought it was really cool but um, at some point we're definitely going to dive into the Sabaton history on this one because I want to learn more about this I I've seen the movie I read about it at the time but that was several years ago and so it's you know kind of not real fresh in my mind but let me know your thoughts add to this uh, let's have a conversation about the 1683 siege of Vienna and that war which eventually then led to the Christians uh, the Holy League conquering some of the Ottoman territory because they went on the offensive after this and they were able to claim like parts of Hungary and things like that. And so this is really kind of the birth of the modern uh, Austro-Hungarian empire uh, that we know so well from later in history. So uh, use the comment section, hit that like button if you would, subscribe, and we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching.